Okay, show a shock compression adjuster. How do you get it apart? How do you valve it? How do you put it together? Start with my number one rule of thumb, pay attention. It's free, everybody can afford to. So use a 16 OD by 0 0.10 thick shim. Come in here, identify the end of the clip, push the center down, use the shim to get underneath the clip, pop the clip up, you're off and running. Now we got it apart. There's always a backer washer. Doesn't matter if it's a Showa, KYB, Olin's. This piece gives us something to bump against so that you don't wear the aluminum out. So I'm just gonna leave that back in there. I'm also gonna leave the spring in there and the cup. So now we're left with the valving and the piston. So I'm gonna take this over to the multi-tool and sand the face flat on it without touching this edge ring here, just so we can get the nut off and do the valve. The multi-tool is great because we can grind it flat on this side. So you can see I just kissed just the face of that just for a second to make sure that is all flat. It doesn't affect anything. Now we're good to go. Clean it off with a little bit of brake clean. Blow it clean. The wrench flats on here you can grab that on the vise right like this and hold it. So that's nice and sturdy. I'm gonna grab a 10 millimeter T-handle, spin the nut off. When you pull the piston off, you wanna watch for the bent washer and the check plate. Then we'll pull the valving off and take a file, chase the top here at a 45, knock the sharp spot off the threads. So notice when I go this direction, it tries to drive the file down. Go counterclockwise. And that'll take that sharp edge off the thread. Give that a quick blow with some air. So now we're gonna build the valving. Start with the stock pieces. Build this to your spec. Always check the shim thickness with a mic, way more accurate to use a micrometer than a caliper. Blow the shims out with a little air, make sure they're clean. Make sure the piston's clean. So now the piston's clean, take the bent washer and the check plate, pinch them together. I like to hold them like this, and then install it directly down and just Clip your fingers out of the way. Little dab of Loctite in the nut. Always put your Loctite in the best spot, which is in the nut because the extra will get forced out. If you put it on the threads on the shaft and then you put the nut on, it'll force the extra into the piston, which is no bueno. So I'm gonna hold the piston down, snug the nut up. Blow off the extra Loctite. Then you wanna make sure that the little bent washer and check plate move freely inside the comp adjuster. And that gets put back into the compression adjuster like this. You can hold it down in the center. Put the clip in like so. You can use a small flat blade screwdriver or these sweet snap-on spoons and then run that around there make sure the, the clip is in all the way and there you have it disassembled revalved and reassembled show a compression adjuster